You kids ask for a peep show, you're getting a peep show. Hi, Susie, you're watching Tasty Tuesday. The show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Hello, it's me, your local neighborhood mom. See the card again? I thought for this week for Tasty Tuesday, I'd make some Easter treats for all the good boys and girls, all the children of the world. Spice up your life. Or for the stoners in the area, whoever's closer. They eat the same thing. So last year on Easter for Tasty Tuesday, I did some DIY Cadbury cream eggs, which turned out so accurate to the original version. I just did a really good job. This year, I thought we'd make some DIY peeps. You know those little ugly yellow things that are like less than a dollar and stores are just trying to get rid of them. Yeah, those! Never made my own peeps, cause why would I? But I thought it would be fun to try. Maybe it's a fun thing you do with your kids or your stoner friends. Whoever is closer, again, not judging your area. And my original plan was to melt this bag of, well, I, why are you so aggressive? I'm talking about you. My original plan was to melt this bag of marshmallows, dye it yellow, and pipe it into a thing. But then when I was looking up DIY peep recipes, I found a bunch of peep recipes made with a waffle. Baba. You know that stuff we used last week to make meringues? That bean water? Yeah, you can make peeps with them. I feel like the universe is guiding me in a really funky direction in life. So I thought we'd try making some peeps out of aquafaba and then compare them to the ones I was originally gonna make and see what happens, okay? Now talk is peep, let's make this dish. <laughs> This is Steve spaghetti, it's not my fault. The fridge is very full, it has to be there. It's part of the stove now. Step one, this part I didn't show last week, but I did do it, I apologize for that. I'm gonna blend two thirds cup of sugar into this blender to make a very fine sugar. Right now you an ugly sugar, but you about to be fine. That's me hitting on sugar. But yeah, you just put it in a blender and you just let it do its thing. That was cool. It's like a snow globe of sugar. Okay, see? So now it creates this very fine sugar, this very powdered sugar. But don't use powdered sugar. Make your own, okay? Now here's where it's gonna start to look eerily similar to last week. We're gonna take the brine from one can of chickpeas, just the, the liquid that it's in. Has anyone coined the term for aquafaba peeps, chick peeps? May I? So yes, if you didn't watch last week's video, aquafaba is the liquid from the chickpea can. And we're just gonna go ahead and dump that in our bowl. Mm. If you can, try to find some chickpeas with no salt added. See, do that. So it won't have as much of a bean taste. Ruin Easter. Now we're gonna take our hand, oh, what do you even think you're doing? Now we're gonna take our hand mixer and just beat the shit, beat? the chickpeas. Beat the chick out of this chickpea water for about seven to 10 minutes until it forms stiff peaks. Mm-hmm, I said it. No boner jokes, because there's kids. You do this for a long time. Like an amount of time where you think you, you're doing it wrong. Keep going. Once it starts to get thick and fluffy, we're gonna start pouring in the sugar slowly. Don't do it too fast or you'll, fuck, you'll mess it up. Sugar, do it. Okay, once we have our stiff peaks formed. We're gonna do something different than what we did last week, I know. <sighs> last week we added cream of tartare. This week we're adding something that sounds equally pretentious. Xanthum gum. Never heard of it in my whole life. I feel like it's one of those ingredients that you're not supposed to be able to pronounce or know what it is when you're like reading the back of gum or whatever. Yeah, xanthum gum. I just found it at Target. So I guess it's a thing that exists. We're gonna add one teaspoon at a time. So add a teaspoon, blend it, then add a teaspoon. Don't you try to rush this. We got some peeps that need to come out. Do this for the children. I added a teaspoon and it immediately made it way thicker. This is way different. Xanthum gum makes it very marshmallowy. Wow! I kind of just want to eat this beater. Like, does it taste good? It tastes very much like marshmallows. I feel like I should add a little bit more sugar or some vanilla or something. But we gotta add another teaspoon of xanthum gum. How is this gonna make it? It's like already like a marshmallow. This is just banana. I'm gonna add some vanilla too, even though the recipe didn't tell me to. I'm a cool mom. Spike in the marshmallows with vanilla. <laughs> Don't tell dad. He hates vanilla. What's up? I don't know. This is insane. How am I gonna dye this yellow? I thought it was not gonna be like this. What is this? This is Bean Water Peeps, the movie. I mean, I feel like it needs more sugar. It tastes like you ate a styrofoam. It's not my favorite, but um, we'll keep going. I'm gonna add more sugar, I think. And I'm gonna add some yellow food coloring. Just a 
really mess shit up. I mean, fuck, fuck, uh, I mean, just don't have your kids watch. More yellow! I feel like a mad scientist. They dye eggs for Easter, why can't you dye bean water? You know, 2017, more sugar. Okay, also add a dash of salt and sugar. Dash, is this real? I feel like if you have a stand mixer, you might have a better time. Just in general with your life. Oh yeah, adding salt made it taste better. Okay, I don't know what's going on in your world, but this is what's happening in mine. This looks strangely phallic. To you, or just me? I'm gonna move on to the next step now. You know what, this is the time where you should take your rings off. Someone sent me this ring holder. Rachel, thank you for this. Look at that. Oh, Keep my ring safe, cat. Now back to you. Oh God, oh it's all up in my mixer. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take some regular sugar, put it in a thing, or a diet yellow. Cause that's what those shitty little Easter peeps look like. Yellow. You kids ask for a peep show, you're getting a peep show. Might have been a different definition that you requested, but you need to learn to be more specific. I put way too much food coloring in this and way not enough in the other thing, but that's okay, life is about balance. Okay, I'm gonna put some wax paper down. That'll be good for not sticking right. The directions don't say to do this, but yeah. Wax paper, sure, instincts. So now what we're gonna do is sprinkle some of the sugar onto our wax paper so it doesn't stick to the bottom when we do the next thing that you don't know about yet. Move, stove spaghetti. So now what we're gonna do is take our fluffy marshmallow mixture and put it into a piping bag. You can also use a Ziploc bag with a cut corner if you're cheap. Yeah, I'll call it do that. I'm just kidding, I just happen to have these. I'm not above using a Ziploc bag. I'm making bean water peeps. My B-roll camera died on me. It was just like, I'm out. You've done one too many bean water recipes, Nikki. This doesn't go to the bottom of the piping bag. It's so sticky. Be better. <laughs> I just wanna do a good job. Subconsciously think that this is how I'm gonna be as a mom and I wanna be a better one. I can't force you. I can only guide you. I can tell you what I would want you to do and that's go to the bottom. But in the end, you make your own choices, you know? We're gonna try to work with this. We're gonna start by making like a two inch kind of circle and then going clockwise. I'm shaking, oh my God. Oh, I'm so nervous. <gasps> I think I made a peep. Ah! If I had a bead water camera, I mean, if I had a bead, if I have a B-roll camera going, I can show you my peep. It's so cute. You are the cutest peep. Oh, I'm doing such a good job. I'm so proud of myself right now. I thought it was gonna turn out like crap. Oh my God, I'm gonna be a good mom. All right, that one kind of has a hole in it, but that's okay. Your second one, you know, you didn't care as much about as your first one. Slap it high if you're a firstborn, yeah. If you're a secondborn, I can't help you. Steve's a secondborn. Ew, you know, let's judge him really quick. I never think I'm doing anything right. To be honest, I mean, I'm most Mostly not. What a mess. I just want some neat, clean little peeps. I feel good about this one. Oh, I feel good about that one. Yes, bitch. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. They're starting to not look like peeps and more just like poops. Like the poop emoji. Easter poops. All of you be like the first one. Okay, I'm kind of like over this. We have a bunch left, but I feel like that's enough. Like I really don't want to do it anymore. It's just giving me hell. It doesn't quite taste like a marshmallow though, you know? I'm just gonna sprinkle some sugar all over these babies. I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you that. Save you a lot of time and money just to get them at the store. They're like 30 cents for 10. This is just madness. Okay, while those are setting, I'm gonna try the other version that I just made up in my head. I didn't see anyone ever try to do this, but we're gonna try it and then see if it's the same or better than the aquafaba peeps. So I'm gonna take a bag of marshmallows. I already ate like half of them. We're gonna take a medium saucepan. Put them in there. Let them rot. Mess them up. Okay, that's gonna take a second. Be right back. Okay, so I kind of messed this one up in the beginning already. I was heating it on medium and it's kind of just burning. So I turned it on low and um, it's kind of brown. I don't know if it's gonna make good peeps. I'm gonna keep trying though. I'm kind of just turned into a creme brulee of a marshmallow. Crispy on top, chewy in the middle. We're gonna see if it works. New pastry bag. New adventure. <laughs> I was supposed to dye this. Maybe that will cover the brown. It kind of looks like it works. Are you cooled down enough? This is why I need recipes, because I don't know how to guess the right thing. Oh, no, no, no. Why do you hate me? Go down. I just can't get it to go. It just hates me so much. It's getting turned into a marshmallow in the bag. This is dumb. I had a different Easter idea before, and then this happened. It's stuck to my hand. I wish that when my brain thought of this idea, that it just went back to sleep. If you never try, then you'll never know. It's not chickpeasy. This is forever like this. That's 
You wanna have fun in the kitchen? Don't, It's my life advice to you. Let's see if this is tasty. I think these have to set for a little bit more, but hey guys. Oh, okay, so I tried putting eyes on them and I didn't realize how liquidy the black icing was. This was my firstborn. He was pretty cool until his eyes merged together. Happy Easter. Happy Chick Peaster. Chick Peep. It just never ends. Let's see if they're tasty. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Peep this game. I don't know if I'll be able to taste anything, but I'm gonna try. You're sick? Yeah, man. It might be better <clears throat> that if you can't taste anything. I cannot guarantee anything to do with these. I mean, these look really weird. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, there's no better way to put it. What? They look like a really <laughs> fucked up Pokemon. I don't know, man. I don't know either. Yo, oh my God, what is this texture? I, what is this, I Nemo? mean, just try to eat one. <laughs> what or, is this? I don't know what life is anymore. I don't know. If I'm at a restaurant and I, I ordered this, know, I wouldn't Green. eat it. Green, I don't know. I didn't order it. Tell me if it tastes like a peep. Do you like peeps? I mean, it's like good, and then there's like a weird taste. But yeah. then it's pretty good. Really? I'm surprised. It's actually pretty I'm good. I'm surprised. Because I was I was withholding <laughs> from before, but I had really low expectations. <laughs> Would you say it's tasty? How about this? The texture is not tasty. <laughs> But do you like regular peep? I'm not like a crazy peeps person, no. If I have to spend calories on something, it's not gonna be peeps. Definitely. <laughs> but if you were eating a peep, like, is this comparable? I, I would say definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let me try it. I really wasn't gonna try it, but. Because um, I've been like tasting along the way and I'm like, I'm so <laughs> sick of this. I can't even pick one up. I know, it's rough. It's, I've been letting them set for a half an hour now. You should so. put them in the freezer or something. This is the first one I set down. Excuse us. It's pretty like you're eating something gross, right? Yeah, weirdly, it tastes like a peep, right? but the texture is weird. It's definitely not like a marshmallow. It's like air. Yes. Or it's like liquid air. The fuck? It's like a porridge. <laughs> no, I love porridge. This is so weird. I don't know how to describe it. It's like when we go to that one place where they do like crazy air, salt, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Astrology or whatever. It tastes like a peep. It's tasty. <laughs> Night, sleep, gold. <laughs> wow, that was the steep response. These are less than peeps. Yeah. Honestly, you could probably buy peeps for cheaper. Absolutely. Because they're like 30 cents. <laughs> <laughs> So but, why did they uh, click on this video, Ben? To see if you can make peeps out of alfalfa. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me, your neighborhood mom, for making these del delicious Easter treats. I hope you have a pleasant Easter. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I need a drink. <laughs>